All right, when you're scrolling through TikTok, you probably have seen the Pillow Talk Derm who has made waves on social media busting beauty myths. Well, she is a board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Shireen Idris, and we're lucky that she's here to share some simple solutions for the most common skin and beauty issues. Hello, Hi. how are Good. we? Good, thank you for so, having me. This is so interesting because there are myths. Everybody believes them. We keep thinking they're true, and you're about to bust some open. Yep. So shall we start with lips? Let's start with lips. Right, let's look at the myth. The myth is this. Reapply Applying lip balm is the ultimate fix for chapped lips. A lot of people keep it in their purse. But uh, is it? Is it? Well, you, is tell it? you tell what us. You tell us. Tell us. So everyone thinks that it's going to be the ultimate solution for long-lasting hydration, but the reality is you're constantly reapplying because you're not getting that hydration you okay. need. Yeah. And so I coined this term like a couple of years ago when I was in Utah in the middle of winter after Thanksgiving called lip basting because turkeys were top of mind, <laughs> where we exfoliate our lips first to buff the surface of our mm. skin, and then you seal it in with a hydrating ointment. Okay. So now you have some products yes. we could all so utilize. If you are sensitive, you want to look for something with mandelic acid. It is the largest of the HAs, so okay. it's the least aggressive one, which can work for sensitive skin. If you want more hydration, glycolic acid is the way to go. And is this for your face? And it's you for just your use face. it on your lips on your too. Lips. What do you do? A little cotton? I take a little, not even finger. Apply finger. It to the lips. Let it sit, and then apply a thick ointment. So here we have Waleda Skin Food, which mm. is for your skin, not necessarily your, your lips. lips. But you can still use it. Yep. Okay. Or lanolin nipple cream. Your nips or your oh, lips? Geez, your lips. <laughs> it works. <laughs> and so this well, is that's also going to work. That this is, is thick it. It will melt like butter look how look lips. at that yeah. wow it will melt like butter do you on have to lips. be careful using products that are for your face on your lips yes it's so a very good pay question. attention to what you say if you have a history of cold sores if you have any active infections or wind burns obviously maybe slow it down yeah. on the acid yeah and focus more mm, on this but if you don't go ahead and knock yourself out amazing right. okay the next beauty myth is about dry skin let's see the myth Flaky skin needs more hydration. That seems like a no-brainer. I, I, right? I, yeah. Everyone thinks that they're flaky because they're dry. Yeah. Right. But there may be a fungus among us, and that might be on your face, oh, yes. <laughs> in the form of dandruff on your face, also known as seborrheic dermatitis. A lot of people get flaky, especially yeah. here, here. That's a fungus? On, it's a yeast. It's a type of yeast that everyone has, but some people are more prone to developing it. It's the same thing as dandruff so on how, the scalp. how do you know if it's that or just regular old dry, flaky skin? If it's not going away with you uh, hydrating, and there's a red base to it and it can feel a little bit irritated, it might be that. So okay. here's the hack. Ketoconazole is ketoconazole antifungal shampoo for your scalp for dandruff. You can use it as a cleanser for your face two to four times a week throughout the week to keep that yeast at bay so it doesn't keep re-emerging and it keeps those dry flaky patches. What do you have flaky patches on your legs or other behind your knees? Yeah, that stuff usually like that. that's, that's not something. either eczema or dry something skin. else. Yeah. This on happens the in oily areas of your face. Uh, like here. Uh, 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 yes, uh, uh. especially people who have rosacea. Okay. Oh, All right, let's okay. talk about oily hair myths. Here we go. <laughs> oily hair should be washed more frequently. Yeah, most people think that's Sounds true. Because yeah. that seems like a no-brainer. Right. But the more you wash Wash, the more you overstrip your scalp, the more your scalp is going to start producing more oil to keep up with the washing. Right. And so you got to oh. break that cycle at some point. And at some point, you need to introduce either a scalp treatment with salicylic acid, which is a type of BHA okay. that loves oil. So it's going to help unclog all the hair follicles, pick up all the oily residue off the hair, okay. and allow your hair to be cleaner and longer. So I usually recommend doing this like the night before you wash your hair in between washes to ah. see if it can help with your skin and your Both hair. Of these but are this is an product. acne cleaning It's spray? for the body. And so I use it on the scalp. <gasps> wow. You are really... I like how you no. really... And I'm the youngest of three. Wow. You gotta be... You this is also a body acne <laughs> yes. thing? So and both of these, that, that's different and okay. are both body. All right. Wow, I so like it. Okay, finally, the last uh, myth is that oil cleansing can be, can is good for all skin types. We've been told that I, before yeah, to take I your makeup off. Yeah, it yeah. feels good. So this is huge, especially on TikTok, right. where everybody swears that oil cleansing is going to get rid of clogged pores. But the reality is, if you're acne prone, if you're prone to clogged pores, and if this is something that you're constantly facing, oil cleansing alone might make things worse, especially if you're using the wrong oil cleanser. Okay. Okay. So the hack is one of the most underrated ingredients that we've had for decades. What is it? Sulfur. You sulfur. may smell like a rotten egg and you may lose your partner in the process, okay. but sulfur is going to help regulate your sebum production. It does. Yeah, it's okay. But this it's, isn't bad. I well, think we've come, we've, come a, we've come a long way. I hope in this one. We've come a long no, not, way. I mean, it's not. In terms of oh, formulation. It's not horrible. It no, smells it's not horrible. like no. medicinal. Yeah. Yes. Can I smell this one? 
a tiny, a tiny, a tiny egg. No, more. However, however, you guys don't have so, to apply it all over your face, and you could do, for example, a nose mask if this is the area that's the most. So intense. Do you put that on and sleep with it, or just no, put it on and minutes, wash ten minutes? Wash this it is off. more of a mask, not. And this is if you use oil cleansers or I if you're oily. If you are someone who is constantly prone to clogged pores, try doing this several times a week, right. especially so in the areas where you are the most clogged, yeah. and it's going to help regulate how much sebum you make, so it doesn't become as clogged long term. By the way. Gosh. Aren't these all great I'm, hacks? These are like these are so good. First of all, you had us with hacks. These I are know. Genius. These are really Thank good. You.